Hi everybody. Well, we've just had a massive bombshell, haven't we? Um, about exams being cancelled and about schools being closed. We've all got quite a lot to think about. Um, her teachers, like myself, are going to be working with lots of people to try and get some arrangements in place over the next couple of days. That's going to take quite a bit of thinking space and quite a lot of work, but we will do it. We will get there. My first message has to go to our Year 11 and our Year 13 students and I want to say to you, first of all, I know you will be hugely worried and disappointed about the exams and your courses next year. I want to say to you, you don't need to worry. There will be a system put in place that gives you credit for the work you've done. No estimated grades have been submitted and no um, predicted grades at the moment. You mustn't worry about that. We will make absolutely sure that we do the very, very best for you. All of our Year 11 will be welcome to a place in sixth form in September for whatever course is going to suit you that we can provide and we will do our very, very best. Year 13, I know that the systems will be there for getting you to the universities you want to go to. We are going to support you all the way. To the rest of the school, to the staff who've been in working with us to try and set things up for the home learning. I couldn't thank you enough. You're doing an amazing job. It's going to get a bit tougher now. We've got a lot to do. We are also being asked to make sure that we can provide schooling for children of key workers, such as health workers and education workers, delivery workers and so on. The government will tell us who those people are in the next couple of days. We also need to provide education and school meals and all of that kind of thing for some of our uh, youngsters who need that bit more help. And again, we'll let you know about that. We'll get it sorted. Um, at Flixton, aspiration, we believe in, don't we? Aiming high believing in things, looking to be better than we are. Well, look, we're all going to pull together in the first place. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, we can't do this now, but we can try. We can all try. My first request to all of you, to our students out there, do your learning as we've set you. Even though exams are cancelled, learning and education is there for its own sake not for a piece of paper. We need you all in, at home, working. That's the first thing. Secondly, we need to make sure that you are reading and finding out as much as you can about the facts to do with health and hygiene and the coronavirus, because our first ambition is to stop the spread of the virus. We have to do this together. We must support each other and educate people. We have to follow instructions. We must protect the vulnerable in our communities. It's absolutely essential that we all do this together. That is our first aspiration, is to stop the spread of this virus, to keep as many people healthy as possible so that we can turn this into a good future for everybody. The second value, our founding principle, is empowerment. We are going to empower each other and empower you to help each other to come through this. We know, don't we, through the Healthy Learning Trust, we need to look after our physical health, our academic health by learning, but what we eat, our social health. Come on, kids, help us set up these WhatsApp networks and social media. I'm absolutely rubbish at it. But let's do that to support each other, looking after each other. And our emotional health will be so much better if we can do all of those things. So that's how we're going to empower ourselves in the community. That's what we will do.
The last one is excellence. We are going to be, and we are, the role models for our whole community, for our families. We are going to be strong. We're going to lead the way with a smile and we're going to go for it. We're going to be excellent in what we do. We're going to be creative, but everything we do will start with health and hygiene. So whatever provision we put in place next week, and we will for those people, I can tell you now, it's probably going to be outside and it's probably going to involve quite a bit of physical activity, but it'll involve a lot of fun as well. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like yet. I've got lots to think about and lots of people to talk to. I've also got my own family to think about and obviously we're all in this together. Two head teachers in one household, bit of a challenge, but we're trying to help each other. Please share this message. I'm rubbish at technology. You guys can pass it round. You make sure that everybody has seen this. My laptop isn't doing email. I can't update the website, but maybe I can just share this video and you can get it out there. I will be in touch and update you soon. But girls, we can do this. Parents, we are here for you. Staff, come on, Team Flixton, we can do this. I love you all. Thank you.